Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Office. As many of you know, it's hot out there, so it's uh, summertime. Got my hat on backwards, and it's time to party. Let's get to some Daily Office here. Um, we're going to keep rolling with this Taco Tuesday uh, with Psalm 42. So if you guys would all follow along with me at home. Psalm 42 reads, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember. As I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar, or Mizar, or Mizar, or Mizar, I, if you have an idea how to pronounce that, feel free. If I messed it up, I'm sorry. But we'll continue. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning oppressed by about mourning oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 42. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let's all say thanks be to God. The mighty fortress is our God. A bold never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood. Of mortal is prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power great, and on the true old On earth is not his name. So this is another one of those things, um, as we continue through these psalms, you'll start to understand that psalms, um, for the most general part, are uh, songs. Um, they're meant to be sung, um, and some of them are a little dark, so I don't know how you would sing them. But this one seems to be another psalm of praise, um, and it says, essentially, uh, even though all this stuff is going on around me, um, even though all these people taunt me and ask me, where is your God? It doesn't matter where where they think my God is because I know where my God is. Do you know where your God is? Right there. It's, God is with you all the time, right? And it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. All that matters is what you know and what you believe about where God is for you. Um, and it says, uh, put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my savior and my God. And that thing, my God, um, it sounds kind of selfish, but when you say my God, um, really it means what God means to me um, personally, what God means to you personally. Uh, so when you're saying my God, you're not saying it's my God, but it's like, it's not like, it's, it's not like Pastor Kurt's sermon on Sunday saying, oh, it's mine, I do it myself. It's, it's not, it's not that. It's, it's essentially my God, meaning God for me um, and what God is doing for me personally. So that's kind of where we're going with that. But uh, to kind of get back into this, um, it's essentially just going on and saying some of the things we've read previously in the Psalms. Though these people are going around me, though they're taunting me, um, I really don't care what their words are to me because I know where my hope lies and I know that God has me. So, does God have you? Hope so? I know so. All right, will you pray with me today? Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for being with us here today as we continue through this this Taco Tuesday daily office. Um, as we get through the rest of these, we're going to continue on through these psalms. We're going to continue to read about your word and, and uh, everything that you have to offer us. So uh, pray that you be with us, watch us, guide us, 
uh, give us good tacos and, and uh, thank you God we love you in your son's name we pray amen if we in our own strength can fight our striving would be losing would not the right man on our The man of God's own choosing You ask who that may be Christ Jesus, it is He The Lord of hosts, His name From age to age the same And He must win the battle Striving would be losing. All right, thank you so much for joining us today on Daily Office. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us on this Taco Tuesday, which, if you remember, um, I am not going to do a taco recipe today. And I'm sorry, but uh, if you guys can all remember what I said I was going to do a recipe for, I will give you a chance to type that in the chat box down below uh, before I say it. So I'm going to give you a recipe for. Put it down there. Chicken salad, that's right. So it's always a good summertime snack of mine. Honestly, it's a really anytime snack. Um, and I just, I like chicken salad. Ah, what you gonna do? So um, essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to get um, your cooked chicken. Uh, you can use cooked chicken, you can use canned chicken. Either one, I prefer cooked chicken, but if you're in a pinch and you need to go to the Dollar General and get some canned chicken, that's okay. Uh, just drain out all the water and stuff like that. Um, so you're gonna get two uh two big ones of those so it's essentially like two cups but uh it's like two of the the regular size cans that you can get um so you're gonna do about a half a cup of mayonnaise and i kind of feel this out depending on on where you want the consistency to be when you're done um so it's about a half cup of mayonnaise once you get all the chicken shredded up if you want to put more to to be a little bit runnier and creamier then that's good because i like mine a little bit more creamy um so you're gonna get uh, depending on the crunch that you like, this is all subjective, but I use like I use like a stalk and a half or two stalks of celery just because I like mine to be crunchy. Um, and I usually use about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of Dijon mustard. Um, so you can use, what I like to use instead of, if I don't have Dijon on hand, is the spicy brown, um, which is really good too. And then, um, and then you can put your pepper, and then if you want to put dill in there, you can. But I, I normally leave the dill out. Uh, I like the pepper. However, um, 
and on top of the the Dijon or the spicy brown, what I like to use is a little bit of a secret is regular yellow mustard, like you're making a potato salad. But it just adds a little bit of that uh, that little zing in there, and um, you mix that all up. Put a little bit of extra salt in there to taste if you want, and it's really good. But um, I have another little special secret ingredient that I use, and I don't know if many of you guys do this, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, okay? I use pickle juice. Pickle juice is amazing. It makes it a little bit sweeter. It's almost like a relish type taste, but it's it's really different. So pickle juice, pickle juice. It's really good. So that's my that's my chicken salad recipe. Spoon it up and eat it if you want. Use crackers, put it on bread, um, however you want to do it. But that's my chicken salad, and uh, I love it. My wife thinks it smells terrible. My kids won't eat it. Um, but they have to deal with it because I like chicken salad. So thank you so much for joining us today on Daily Office. Um, we pray that you'll come back tomorrow and, and get with us again uh, while we go through Psalm 43. Um, so once again, I'm going to reiterate today, if you want to read scripture or do uh, maybe some songs for us, if you've got an idea of a song that you want to do, like perform, um, and then we can put it in just kind of how I do it with the, uh, we put the song underneath and, and then you sing a verse or two and and uh, all that stuff. I would be more than happy to have you guys help me out if someone wants to read scripture or if someone wants to do a song. Um, I'm going to be doing these for the next few weeks just while Pastor Kirk gets to feeling better and then we can kind of go back to regularly scheduled programming to where um, we can get more of like a Monday, Tuesday flow with Pastor Kurt and I, and then we do uh, our regular uh, distance uh, rest of the week stuff. But we want to get more people involved with this, and I think it's such a cool thing just, uh, uh, just to get a chance to get in front of the camera and to read some scripture or to play a song. So if you want to, reach out to me. Um, uh, just get a hold of me either on here, I can respond on here, or message the church Facebook page. Message me personally. Um, my email is Aaron at ChristUMChurch.org. Um, otherwise, that's how you get a hold of me. Um, yeah, if you want to read, if you want to sing, get a hold of me. So thank you very much. Have a great day, and God bless.